Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Hall O'Clock, with two packages from Bricklink.com, and a little something else. Right, so we've got three things to go through today. One is the main event, a package from Bricklink.com, as I say. Another one is just a set of stickers, or several sets actually, which I've kind of opened just to check, uh, but I haven't really got out yet. Uh, and the third one is this, which is just a gift from uh, my friend Brad. Uh, and he decided to give me a Mario character pack, 71361, uh, because he thought the character that he'd felt inside would be good for my undersea area. Now, that would imply that it was either this little urchin or this little fish that's called Eep Cheap, apparently, or this little creature here that's called Blooper. So I don't know which one of those three he's got, or indeed if he's uh, <laughs> felt it right in the first place and actually got uh, what he thinks he has. But um, thanks to you, Brad, for this, whichever one it is. And let's have a quick look. Ooh, it is... I think that's the white... Yeah, I think that's the uh, Blooper. And there's a nice bit of coral in there. Uh, and one of those barcode things, uh, and I'll build this in a minute, otherwise it's going to take too long. But thanks very much for that, uh, Brad. I'm assuming that is what you thought it was. I assume you probably felt the uh, coral piece. Cool. Thank you. Uh, right, so on to the rest of the hall. I'm probably going to keep hitting those pieces now. Uh, this was just a set of stickers, or rather several sets of stickers, that have been eluding me uh, on other halls. And I found one vendor that had well, several sticker sheets that I needed, um, but he didn't have much else, actually. Uh, so I thought, well, I could keep postage down by keeping it very thin, because uh, we do get charged in the UK for the size of the package as well as the uh, weight of it, uh, and it was relatively economical to do. So I just went ahead, didn't add a single brick, which is very unlike me, uh, and just had sticker sheets. So we can go through those in no particular order. This is from a friend set, as you can probably tell immediately. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these plant ones. Uh, the main, well, only reason I really bought it was for this, actually, uh, to make a kind of punch bowl uh, with some uh, pink-coloured punch drink with some floating kiwi fruit in it. I just like the idea of that for uh, some sort of scene or other. It was only 30p for the sheet. Uh, and if I use these two climbing plants somewhere, then... Yeah, why not? So that's quite a nice one. That's from set 41033, Jungle Falls Rescue from 2014, uh, which has got a rather cute baby tiger in it as well, actually. I didn't know Lego had done one of those. And now a couple of these sheets, yep, they're both there, are to kind of repair stickers from previous hauls where I've got a, a piece or something that hasn't been of the required quality, really, I suppose. Uh, and this is the sheet from 8967, Gold Tooth's Getaway, which is an old agent set. It was only 25p. Uh, and I wanted it for the three ones here that go on the bike. I mean, it's a pretty bad bike in that set. It's kind of got really lumpy tires and yeah, it looks awful. Um, but what I'm planning to do is use the main sort of chassis piece, uh, the, the big black bit with all these stickers on, uh, to kind of do a flying version, I figured. Kind of like the one that's in the recent uh, Avenger Tower Battle uh, 76166 uh, from 2020. So, yeah, they're just to replace the stickers that were on that piece when I bought it. I still needed the piece, so it's not too bad. Uh, a travesty so that's great because they're absolutely perfect i do love these people who hate stickers because they they keep them all and then they sell them all to me yay <laughs> uh, and this is the other uh, agent set as you can probably tell with all these doctor inferno logos all over everything um and this one's from the turbo car chase from 2008 that's set 8634 this was a bit more at about a pan 20 that was only about 25p that last one uh, and it was to get the incredibly uh, problematic uh, windscreen sticker, which is this one, for the helicopter that Spyclops is flying along in. And it's because it's always badly applied at some random angle, and it's either sort of gets sun damaged or I've just been really unlucky, because I've bought about three of those cockpits, <laughs> and they're really big, so they really add to postage. And every single time, I've had not only a sticker that's badly placed... Um, but one that's so badly sun damaged that when you try and move it using my patented hot tea technique, that it actually comes apart. So I went to source and I got the whole sheet. It's the only one I really need, but I suppose these logos could be used elsewhere. 
and that's even a screen to one of those laptops so that's pretty cool as well helicopter blades these all come in useful i ended up using those because uh, i had some spare ones on my um, cement mixer train wagon actually so i'll probably use more than just that but that sticker to me <laughs> has already cost me pound after pound wasted so i'm glad to finally put that one to rest then we have a spider-man set doc ox tentacle trap 76059 that's from 2016 uh, and regular viewers of the channel and these halls will probably know the exact reason why i bought this yep it's for the surfboard because i kind of collect uh, surfboards snowboards and uh, skateboards so i already have a blank white uh, surfboard that i can apply those to uh, and yeah, it's the Spider-Man logo, but it doesn't have to be Spider-Man who uses it. So I'll probably attach that later as well. Uh, but that's really good. Um, I don't know why Doc Ock needs a huge mech with tentacle arms when he has tentacle arms. But, you know, hey-ho, uh, not one to argue. Uh, and then this was probably the hardest to find sticker sheet, uh, being the really big one, as you can tell, from the Ultra Agents Mission HQ 70165. And that's a set from 2014. So Ultra Agents, it's all a different color scheme and all very sort of modern and jazzy. Uh, and I was thinking of using these to basically decorate the super or rather Ultra Agents base that I'm thinking of doing in my train. In my white fast passenger train, I've got a mail car uh, and the interior is currently empty. And I thought, wouldn't it be brilliant fun if that was actually a secret hidden Ultra Agents base? I've been saying this for a while, but I haven't uh, got anywhere. But this is a good step uh, in the right direction. And obviously, then I've got the equipment I need for big screens showing all sorts of maps and activity and baddies and things like that. Uh, energy bolts. And I mean, these three green ones are actually for the little mech in that set, terabytes mech. Uh, so I could actually start getting the pieces for that because I have been collecting a lot of the pieces for these sort of baddie smaller builds from all these Ultra Agent sets. So having the stickers for that one makes it a lot easier to do that. Uh, and there's all sorts of little ones that are really going to come in useful for the smaller builds as well as decoration. So that was well worth it. £1.50. Uh, so all of these sticker sheets came to about £6 or something, which I think, uh, you know, including postage, I think it was even less than that. So it was a really, really good uh, idea, in my opinion, uh, and is all the equipment I need for lots of different projects. Right, so on to the main event. Should I put those slightly to one side? Um, this is a bigger package, as you can tell, and I'm kind of surprised it's this small, actually. I mean, you might remember the last package I did was really big. Um, and I was surprised it was that big, and that's because it had loads and loads of uh, bubble wrap packaging in it, basically just filling a large box. But this one, I'm really surprised on its size uh, because it's too small, in my opinion. <laughs> I thought there was a lot more in here, and it's because one of the pieces, which will probably, yep, it's immediately apparent, uh, is absolutely massive. So let's oh start with that. There's a lot of sellotape all over this, and it is this. Oh, no. He's gone and bought Duplo again. Yeah, I've bought some Duplo. It's a wonderful bright red uh, bridge girder, as you can probably tell. <laughs> Sadly, only one. I wanted a pair, um, and I've no idea how I'm going to use it. So this is one of those great opportunities for you to fill me full of wonderful ideas, uh, and then we can get something going. I may need another one of these, like I say, from another vendor. Uh, it's been in a couple of Duplo sets, including the wonderfully originally named Bridge 3774. And in that set, clearly, it is, well, one side of a huge bridge. Now, I've got two bridges, uh, rail bridges in Brick Nottingham. I've also got a road bridge and other stuff as well. But uh, So I don't really need it for that. Partially, it's the wrong dimensions. Uh, and partially, well... I'd have to dismantle one to go and use this, and I'm quite happy with those. So I was thinking some sort of industrial use, or maybe something around the harbour area might be supported by a huge one of these. And obviously I can still use it, but it will be limited a little in that I'm going to have to, at least for the first layer, connect this with uh, either 2x2 two two bricks, or 2x4, two or 2x6, two or 2x8 bricks uh, to make the connection. That will fit onto a normal base plate fine. And these are not axle holes. They look like they are, but they're too big. 
Uh, it might be a Duplo sort of axle size or something, but it's not a normal Lego, Technic Lego one. So, yeah, ideas for that, but I just couldn't resist it. It's big, it's red, it's awesome. And who else has got one in their city, huh? I ask you that. So, that's why I thought this package would be quite big. And also why we haven't got a lot left. Oh golly, there's so much sellotape in there. There we go. And that's why we haven't got a huge amount left to go through. Uh, which is why I did the sticker pack as well. Sort of two smaller orders. So let's do the more bigger pieces, more boring one first. Tip all those out. Right, here is a very interesting piece that I've never owned before. So I thought I'd buy one. And uh, it's quite a big piece, as you can see. And guess, guess how much it was? I'll give you a clue. It wasn't much. It was three pence. So I thought, yeah, go on then. I'll risk it for three pence. Uh, so I bought one of these. Uh, and usually it's a drill bit. It's part of a drill bit going around with these being the lumpy bits that take off bits of rock or really sort of chunky, chunky wheels. Uh, like on a lot of the power miner sets like 8960, Thunder Driller. Uh, from 2009, and that actually has one in both those functions, an orange one as part of the drill, and black ones as part of the wheels. What a machine. Love those sets. I'm really considering getting power miners uh, as part of or the entirety of the scene underneath my mine area, which will kind of be to the right of the fairground. And that's just because those sets, some of them are amazing. I won't be able to fit in the really tall ones, um, but I mean, that drill, for example, Thunder Driller, is just, <laughs> you know, wow. <laughs> okay, so that's that, just to play around with. Uh, here are two fuselage pieces in black. They're quite worn, actually. It might just be dirt, but it doesn't matter too much because they're going uh, out of, well, not out of sight, but not very prominent anyway, let's say. Now, these are for the mystery build. You definitely won't guess one of the mystery builds. Uh, this is the one which we had those wedge plates for in dark red last time that isn't a plane, isn't a boat, isn't a spaceship. Uh, what is it? You'll never get it. I guarantee it. If somebody does, I'll be staggered. Uh, so that's for them, and I'm going to need more. I'm going to need four of them in total, so that's probably confused you even more. These are interesting. They're sort of large figure tails, sometimes used in Barnacle. They've got the... Um, Technic sort of axle uh, cross on the end. I thought they could be used for under the sea, surprise, surprise, as some plants, big sort of stems of something, maybe holding something quite decorative on top. So I've got two of those. They're usually in Chima sets, actually, like 70109, uh, Whirling Vines from 2013. I'm not entirely certain what's going on in that set. It just seems like a pair of these are just whizzing around. Why? I've no idea, but nonetheless... Uh, they're quite used as well, actually. But again, I don't think that really matters. It's the sort of colour and the shape we're going for mainly. They'll be kind of in a dark corner. Uh, and then I've got quite a few pieces, which was the uh, reason for this order, actually, for my uh, amendments to uh, my super secret police base, which is going to basically be the top floor of roof section of the new uh, module of 2021, the police station. So I need that for something. I've got I've got two decorated uh, tiles here. I think I'll probably have to move them. I might even be moving them onto totally different pieces, actually, using my patented hot tea technique. Uh, so these two are actually from the Supercycle Chase 70808. Um, but yeah, they'll go on one of my vehicles, I'm sure, to give it a bit of decoration. These I just bought for under the sea. One of them's actually old grey, old dark grey. You can see the difference there, but I don't really mind. In fact, that's positively a good thing for my under the sea area because it'll be more variation. So I'm quite happy with that mistake if it was one. A couple more of those barnacle feet that I'm using for plants. These really are quite grubby. Uh, don't worry, I wash all my used pieces before I bring them into use in my city, but I mean, they look like they've been outside. <laughs> Uh, one of those inverted slopes, that's just for rock formations. Oh, and some minifigures. Now, I didn't get these with their full kit and guns, but this is the Alien Avenger, who is from Series 9. And I never bought him before, because I kind of thought, well, what on earth am I going to do with him? But 
as you probably know, I've been buying a lot of aliens recently. Uh, and I'm going to have an alien cantina scene. Not the actual one from Star Wars, but just a bar where loads of aliens congregate on Earth, kind of like um, ooh, like Men in Black. Um, and therefore, I'm in the market for more aliens, really. And, and who's more nasty-looking alien than this guy? Oh, can't get his helmet off now. There we go. I'm just throwing everything around. But uh, he's got a really interesting, nasty alien face as well. So I thought he would be a good addition. And he was pound ninety. So I thought that was worthwhile. Not usually a figure you can use in your city. Yeah, here's the other series one. This is kind of his antagonist, I suppose you would call it. Maybe he's chasing him, or maybe he's just having a drink in the same bar, because humans would be allowed in if they're intergalactic humans. And who's more intergalactic than the Galaxy Patrol? That's another series minifigure from Series 7, this one. And I didn't realise he had the classic space symbol on his shoulder, so that's really cool, actually. That's really cool. You could get a real army of these ones, couldn't you? So he's got the sort of targeting face on one side in... Oh, golly, that's really stuck. There we go. Oh, oh, that's so hard to turn. Uh, I'll give it a wash. Hopefully it'll be a bit more loose. And the other side's got that sort of eye targeting system. Kind of like both sides of that. But that body armour... I didn't realise it had that, because all the pictures you see, sort of in the catalogues and so on, are sort of like that. I wonder if his torso's got anything on. I don't think I can get it off because of this really stiff head. <laughs> oh, come on. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm going to knock my camera over or something like that. Oh, got it. Thank goodness. Oh, that was stiff. No, it's a relatively boring torso, actually. But there it is. Very good. And he was £2, I think, so I think that was a deal. Uh, and then I filled my boots with, you guessed it, more super secret police. Because I really want to have quite a busy floor and station and so on. Uh, so here's the one with the cap. And I'm not using the robot heads, as you probably all know by now. Uh, so he was actually from the 70801 melting room set. And he was 75 pence. I mean, there were some really good deals on here. So some of these might be a bit dirty or used. But the fact is, when I've cleaned them up, They'll be well worth 75p. And then there's these two. They're the same with the uh, patterned helmet and the right torso. They haven't got the body armour, but they don't all need to have that. And these were 95 pence each, but they look like they're in really good condition as well. So, five good minifigures for some scenes. I was thinking one of my rides for my fairground might need one of these different sort of style Technic turntables uh, with a with this sort of um, gearing around the outside. I'm kind of buying it to play around with because I don't have one. Or rather, I do have one, but it's deep inside one of the official sets. So I thought I'd buy that. So that's to play around with. And then there's this, which don't worry about the stickers at all because they're coming off, actually. This is the police bike that I've already got uh, from set 60137, Tow Truck Trouble from 2017. Uh, and as you can see, this bike has the number one on its stickers. Uh, so I've already got that. So these stickers will be coming off because I wanted it to have this emblem to be in, uh, well, consistent with the other one. And I'm going to use the same sort of stickers from the same range, but from the set 60141 police station, because uh, it will be the same sort of setup, but with a six instead. So obviously there'll be several bikes around the uh, city and number one and number six might be partners. And they're the two policemen I'm going to be sort of doing my uh, pair of bikers who are like Chips, the 80s um, TV series. So that's fine as well. So we'll be doing some sticker replacement there. A couple more of those. Oh, I've got two of these as well. Golly. Yeah, I've probably got enough super secret police now. So there's another one of the ones with a cap. Yeah, I've got... I don't know, I've got about 10 now, <laughs> so I shall stop. Uh, another one of those inverted slopes, but really good bag, really nice stuff in there. Then the real mixed bag. This guy has not wasted any plastic at all. I think everything's used in this order, so it's not so much a problem. Got some really tiny pieces in here, mainly lime little horn or teeth pieces. And I'm going to use those to decorate one of my really oversized undersea creatures, namely the crab, uh, just to make him more spiny and uh, nasty. 
These are nice. I've not had any of these before, so I bought uh, a couple, and I think I might buy some more to kind of make some uh, good tunnels underneath the sea, some sort of good, um, what would you call it, undersea station. Uh, I want to call it a space station, but obviously that's not right. Um, with these portholes on, they can make a nice corridor at the very least. Uh, they're in a few of the old town divers sets uh, back in the 90s, including 6560, Diving Expedition Explorer. Uh, yeah, so I think I'll get some more of those because you kind of line a corridor with them like that. Uh, that look rather good. Just enough uh, to see inside. So I very much like those. Uh, some slopes for hills. Ignore the stickers if they've got them. They're just to help support stuff. Tread plate, yay. Um, lots of these. Very cheap in tan just to sort of be underneath the sea and supporting plants and so on. Got more of these curved uh, brown slopes and, and what they, these can be used for, they've been used for this in one of the uh, old 80s uh, diving sets. It's kind of like the ribs of an old boat, probably a very old boat, um, you know, where the rest of all the planks have decayed and all that is remaining is the sort of ribs uh, of the boat, you know, the spine being sort of front to back and these being the sort of ones that curve up the sides. So I've got half a dozen of those and I might uh, might use them to make up the remnants of a boat. But to be honest, I think I'm going to have a wrecked ship and all sorts of other stuff in there. So I might not have room, uh, in which case they can definitely be used for tree limbs. So I thought they were a good price. Uh, so I got all he had. A couple more of those lime ones for under the sea. Ah, oh, this is something I haven't had before. So I've got the Tomahawk um, Warrior from series 10 as part of my tourists on my tourist bus. Uh, but when I got mine, I didn't have any of the accessories, much like I didn't with these, but these just got normal, those double barrel guns. I'm not too fussed about that because I've probably got them. Uh, but I never had a Tomahawk for my Tomahawk Warrior. Now you probably won't carry it around on the bus because people wouldn't be happy with that, but it's nice to have for some other sort of use. So very good. Here is uh, talking of big undersea creatures, this is the sort of spinal plate of the lobster uh, in that series from 7772 Lobster Strike. Uh, I did get this before, but it was a little discoloured, and this one looks better actually. Uh, and if I get, uh, well, there might be room for two even, you never know. But that's really nice to have. So that's something that I had on my important list that I can cross off. Hey, more uh, <laughs> more fuel for my addictions. My name is Robin and I am a brick addict. It's been one day since my last build. Uh, and yeah, this is one from a friend set by the looks of things. Yeah, it was from 3184 Adventure Camper from 2012, which is another friend's pink monstrosity. Very garish looking set, but uh, a unique um surfboard that i'm gonna have to move the stickers on you know how by now uh, and then just a few more common pieces that i sort of tend to get through some angled wedge plates of different sizes in different greys uh, which are all welcome like these end slope pieces they'll all be good for rock faces so yeah a really good pile so i'm going to build the uh, gift from brad which was the super mario character I'm going to put the uh, Spider-Man sticker on there, uh, and then we can bring it to a close. But pretty good haul. Really happy with these stickers in that first package. And we've got quite a few characters and some really uh, all-important pieces for our uh, upgrade of our police station and our chip scene and all sorts of other good stuff. But probably the biggest thing for you to uh, give your thought to is what I can use this uh, big red Duplo <laughs> bridge girder for. And... I don't think the answer should be bridge. <laughs> All right, so here is the white surfboard for my collection with a sticker on, looking good. And here is Blooper, all made up, and he's definitely some sort of squid, it seems. Kind of like a ghost squid, it seems. I can't remember. I remember the game, but I don't, um, don't remember that character so vividly. Uh, and there was one piece that I missed going through all of them. It was just face down. And it's this ATM Asteroid Bank sticker from the uh, Space Police set. Uh, smash and grab. 5982. Uh, and I've got three of those now. So I can probably cross that off my list. I just wanted to have several ATMs all with the same branding around the city. And this is obviously a very good and very bright sticker. Which definitely needs a little bit of attention. 
but that's not a problem because it's a very pretty one as well. So there we go. As always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. Uh, and if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, we'll be doing another ride for our fairground as part of Fairground Fridays. Uh, and that will be motorised, of course. Uh, and it is influenced by a set, but not a set that you might expect. Definitely not an existing fairground ride of any description. Uh, so I think that will be pretty interesting, and I think you'll like it. Uh, and then on Monday, we'll be back in Brick Nottingham for another more general city update. So, see you then!